Hello everyone, welcome to another video of Coracle's YouTube channel. So today we are going to talk about why to choose Germany for higher studies. Today we have Sammy with us, the, the person who started his journey as student in Germany and now he's co-founder of Coracle. So Sammy, can you tell us your view on this? Yeah, um, so, um, so people have been um, um, going to foreign countries um, from their home country since many years now. Um, before maybe uh, we look into the pros and cons of Germany, the, the, the classic, um, the listing, um, maybe it is, I think it is, it is good to maybe spend a few minutes reflecting on why someone go to a foreign country. Right. Why someone leave a home country, the comfort of friends, family, and then go to an unknown, unknown land um, for their higher education, right? Yes. Because there are many reasons for that. Everyone has their own reasons. So there is no one country best for higher studies. So if we, we, if we are clear about the reasons, then maybe we can see how Germany is doing on those aspects. You know, um, most of the times people go want to go to uh, uh, abroad uh, to uh, for better opportunities, opportunities in terms of uh, knowledge. You know, I want to deepen my knowledge on whatever field I wanted to be an expert on, or um, a career-wise job opportunities. You know, I wanted to um, get a better opportunities might not be available in my home country, um, or that's usually the primary factor um, and um, also depends on political situation and situations in different countries some they really want to get out of the country and to re-establish the roots for a better standard of living maybe for safety you know so this aspect of I, I'm going out because I really want to get out and then rebuild my life there you know that's there and there are also a group, um, they say, I really don't want to go out, but I just want to go out, experience new culture, meet new people, stay for a few years and then come back. So that's the, the fun side, you know, explore the free spirited uh, need. So, yeah, I think these are the aspects. Maybe, maybe we can say we can mm, take these aspects and then maybe see how Germany is doing on these fronts. That's true. We you know, know um, so that could be one approach we can doing, we can be doing. I'm sure you have your reasons why yeah. you came to Germany. I consider Germany because the first and foremost reason is Germany provides us tuition free education. Uh, because coming from a middle class family, that is an important aspect for me. Mm. Yeah, that's um, if you look at uh, the students coming especially to Germany, that's it's one of the main reasons. Yeah, you know, it's not only now. Um, back in my days, um, I came to Germany in 2004, so it's 20th year now. Um, that was one of the reasons also for me you know, to come to Germany because the, my calculation was I'm not really spending a lot, I'm only spending my time. So after two years, if I get a job, I stay there. If I don't get a job, I come back At with a foreign with degree. degree. Exactly, yeah. with a foreign degree. So that was my... Um, my um, let's say the reason but the primary reason was none of the reasons that we discussed before okay. for me it was the fate I uh, yeah Let me, let's not go into that um, it was not planned let's say the fate uh, um, pulled me to Germany uh, but with tuition free education what other opportunities Germany is providing me can you tell me something about that yes maybe let's let's go into uh, the opportunity side yeah. right um, so if we uh, if you look at the the job opportunity side, uh, so Germany needs skilled people. Like it's been in. I'm not sure if you're following the German news. It's a topic of discussion wherever you go. Okay. And um, even I think uh, in Hamburg, I, I think a few months back, I saw in a political agenda from a party. They say we will be bringing more qualified people to Germany. So it's, it's going at that level, which means Germany is in dire need of qualified people, right? So the need, so the demand and supply is the, the, the basics of any economics and, and, and growth. So Germany needs people. So which means this is the primary reason I see Germany outshines 
the other countries where the demand is low because Germany has to do a lot in terms of digitization. Germany is lagging. On one side, they are leading in innovation and research, yes. but on a lot of other aspects, they're really lagging, mm -hmm. which is uh, bad news and good news. Good news for those who want to come in and contribute and help the country to, you know, get better at this. And most of our audience and students, when we talk about students, they're coming for higher education, yes. mainly in the field of engineering, science, tech, you know. So this is where the demand is huge. That's an opportunity. And also um, the research, you know, Germany is still the land of ideas as they have been promoting it for some time in the, in the past. It's a country thrives on innovation, you know, yeah. without innovation, Germany is, you know, it's not a top tourist destination. It's not filled with natural, you know, yes. um, resources. So the innovation is, uh, Germany is like driving. Uh, so there are also a lot of opportunities out there if someone wants to deepen their knowledge and work you know into the research research mm -hmm. side of the you know um, side of their um, career so these opportunities as we speak is really really good but with the opportunities does germany also provide me job security and social security um, so germany is um, by nature it, it, it's a, the, the, so it has a socialistic history, right? So, um, so it's, it's not like fully capitalistic like US. So here it's more everyone contributes, everyone gets benefit. Okay. More if you define very, you know, uh, very, on a high, very high level, um, which means if I'm working, I'm contributing to my future mm -hmm. and I'm supporting the ones who are who needs support from the government from today okay. through the tax, okay. right? So we have the, the classical income tax mm -hmm. and we have the social security contributions like um, if I lose a job, mm -hmm. I'm, I get supported by the government oh. for some time with pretty good money till I'm kind of like getting on back on my feet. And um, for example, if I... Um, don't have a job and I'm, I'm not able to find one mm, could be many reasons my housing is protected if I'm living in a pretty decent apartment yes. not extra wagon flashy lifestyle mm -hmm. so the government is also supporting me to to live not mm -hmm. only me the family so this aspect is basically the nature of the Germany compared to you know okay. so each month you get a little bit less mm -hmm. in the hand and uh, people think oh Germany taxes a lot it is not true Maybe we go into the, the details in a separate video. So it's the work-life balance. That's the more the cultural side of Germany. Um, it's pretty decent here. So when you ask about what else Germany gives, the, the infrastructure, the setup itself helps you to have a peaceful and standard or good quality of life that also kind of um, um, gets good points. If you look at how is my day-to-day -day life, I want to immigrate, you know, to Germany and settle and then work and then build my new future there. I think Germany is doing um, decently well. And all these comes at very low cost, as yeah. you mentioned, you know, um, I'm not really investing a lot of money mm -hmm. compared to other foreign countries, like the classic English um, countries. And um, also Germany offers the 18 months, the so-called job seeker visa. So post-graduation, mm -hmm. um, you are getting 18 months of visa to stay and look for a job. Oh, that's great. You know, yeah. uh, it helped a lot of um, students, especially during the COVID crisis. Yes. You know, it was like an year and a half, like easily for one year, lots of businesses were struggling. Mm -hmm. And um, if you just graduated at that time, you are in a bad boat. Yeah. But I know a lot of students pulled through that because of this. And then um, they were allowed to work part time. They kind of like managed their way through. And um, yeah, from that side, um, Germany is doing pretty good, I would say. You know, with these reasons, there was one more reason which attracted me a lot towards Germany was Schengen visa. While applying to visa, I got to know that I am getting a Schengen visa, which allows me to almost 90% of European countries with visa free. Can you tell me about that also? 
Yeah, that's you're basically touching on the third aspect that we mentioned, the fun and exploration side, yeah. right? Um, and um, yeah, it's if, yeah, so it's not like Germany that op- op- offers you um, an attractive. It doesn't matter if you even land in France or Sweden or the Netherlands, as you mentioned, in the Schengen area. You can travel around really, really for cheap prices. You know oh. there are there are buses. Uh, you can I don't know fl- cheap flights, thirty forty euros. You can fly to I don't know Portugal, to Italy, and then by road you can also you know um, um, travel to um, different destinations. And so backpacking, you know, during your studies or even after studies, um, um, as a family to uh, to move around uh, within Europe, mm-hmm. it's uh, yeah it's doable. So it's not like if you look far f- from far away, oh, going to Europe, going to Paris, you know, going yeah. to the, you know, um, I know the Munich, the Neuschwanstein Castle yeah. and going to um, Italy and all very exotic and it's expensive. Yes. But yeah, being here, uh, the, these, these things um, are doable and it's really fun. You know, if you're open to different cultures, um, a lot to explore in Germany and a lot to explore in different European countries, the language... Um, yeah, but there would be some catches too, right? Uh, it's not too good to be true, don't you think? There are always catches, right? There are always um, catches. Um, I'm a big picture guy, and um, I, I I firmly believe there is no place in this world, even in your home, t- you know, like in the middle of your living room, not every, everything is working out for you. Yeah. Right? That's true. And, um, but it is also in our nature, uh, as humans, I think, um, we are able to deal with the challenges and headwinds. Yeah. You know? Um, so it's a peaceful country. Opportunities are there. Of course, I am, I'm going out of my comfort zone. Yes. Right? So, yeah, I will be faced with Lots of, I would I wouldn't call it challenges new things, you know. You, if you have this open mind of embracing the, these things, then the pain is less. The pain right. is there, <laughs> you know. And if you are you know taken down by every small things, then your life is miserable, you know. And the language being the one primary thing everybody talks about oh but it's not it's a different language so it's a different language in gujarat it's gujarat yeah. and if you go from gujarat to i don't know tamil nadu or to orissa yeah it's different the language. languages are different yeah. you know and the cultures are different yes and if it excites you it's the difficulty becomes less painful let's say yeah. and um, yeah so uh, you need to learn language and getting into the culture mm-hmm. and it is not easy. The lifestyle is different. It's completely different. Depends on where you come from. For me, everything was different right. and everything was painful yeah. at the beginning. But yeah, we are here. I'm here. I've survived. It's, and it's, it's not about surviving. It's about, yeah, you like it. I mean, um, of course, not every day is going to be really fun, but you just need to see, able to see the big picture in that side. It's all well and good. There are no catches and no one is holding you. If you don't like, you can also leave. Yes. Right? That's the flexibility at least we have. um, So you're not contracting yourself to the country, you know. I guess this this is a detailed topic. We can discuss about this topic in our next video, the challenges in Germany, right? Yeah. Yes, glad to <laughs> discuss the challenges as well. Yeah. So with this, we can conclude that all most of the points have been covered. But let me know in the comments that if you think any other reasons should be there for coming to Germany for our viewers also. And uh, with this, like, comment and subscribe. And the, the, the bell thing? <laughs> oh yeah, don't forget the bell icon. See you in next video. Cheers. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.